there. Welcome to messing about with an arrow boat. <laughs> it's mid afternoon and I feel like I'm done a marathon in you. Triple checking everything this time. Router blades. Hope oh, broke. So, it's the start of a new week, so we're just going to crack on with the lining. You see most of that, so it's just rinse and repeat. But it is a really hot day today, it's going to be the hottest day of the year. So it's about 33, 34 degrees Celsius. What's that in American? 91, 92 Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's going to be a hot one. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any heavy lifting today, but I'm going to crack on with the the bits that I need to crack on with, like just cable trays and whatnot. Wow, it's hot. It's uh, several hours later, and the definition of a slow day, all I've managed to do is cut a couple of socket holes and paint some edges. <laughs> Dear goodness. And I'm definitely melting, but we'll keep going. Not doing anything energetic, just bits and bobs. <laughs> it's mid afternoon and I feel like I'm done a marathon in the Olympics or something. Good grief, it's about 36 degrees outside. It's not so hot inside, but boy oh boy, it's so humid. Oh, so I think I'm gonna pack up today. I've put the board back up, uh, I'll just do a no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just too hot. Kind of had big plans for today after the weekend. I thought, right, I'll do one, two, three, four jobs. I've done two. Another day. Actually, it's been a couple of days because it's just been too hot. Uh, Roma's here today helping me. Uh, yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. We should get through things a bit quicker with two oh, of us. Mosquito. Yes. That's the, that's the as long plan. as you're not painting, it's okay. That's not very fair, I take that back. No. That painting is great. No. Yes, it is. Well, I may as well go See there. See all the runs on the floor? There's no runs on that floor. Right. There's no <laughs> runs. No, oh, don't. No. Um, so right. today, we're going to crack on with the things that I didn't finish off uh, the other day. But we're going to uh, put some more lining up. We're going to finish off the cable trays. We're going to trim off some of that uh, uh, electric cable and put the sockets in. Uh, and that'll just take us a wee while, I think. But an extra pair of hands is really helpful. Mm. So let's go and crack on with that. Oh, and I've figured out what we're going to do with the um, the hatches. Uh, it's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So, That's good. good job. Right, screws off, lift it down. Oh, and it's getting big. Ooh. I didn't put too many screws in it because I just uh, tacked up. Yeah. Keep that one there because then it will fall. I think there's one over there, two over there. Okay, right, so just hold the bottom of it. Yeah. It's going to go. Yeah. <coughs> there, lift it down. Move forward. Yeah. Oh, it's catching the wires. Yeah. Thank you.
should do it. Yeah. That'll bring good it back job. in line. So when I do the next ones, I'll know what to do. Yeah, good okay. job. Okay, right, quick as a flash. That's back up. On to the next one. Tea break first. Right, that's another bit up. So as before, now that we've got it, there's a bit of a gap. It's a little bit. Um, you know. Yeah. The roof boards aren't perfectly straight, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it so that when we put it back up, I know where it's going back. I can line it up. Yeah. And Sounds like a plan. It just makes life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. With the edge. Now, this board. Uh, the bulkhead, the bulkhead is going to be here, so I'm going to cut this board to the bulkhead size. Right, so there's two schools of thoughts on ply lining. One is just line the whole thing, off you go, don't worry about it. Um, the other one is sandwich the bulkhead in the board like that and then you've got a bit of weatherproofing uh, moisture resistant going on so that's what we're going to do I'm going to build the bulkhead and then butt the lining up to the bulkhead the reason for it is we don't want too many lines down so if I put the bulkhead uh, on the ply lining I've got the bulkhead then I've got a covering strip for the gap and then you've got the surround for the window hitting the covering strip of the gap. So by putting the bulkhead up and button the thing to the lining, I can use a whole sheet of ply for the bathroom and there'll be no lines in it at all. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, a friend of ours suggested mm -hmm. that. So yeah, that's, that's what's happening. Okay, but that now means I need to start thinking about the bulkhead. Let's get this finished. So now we need to go outside, mark the centre spot on the hole, in the porthole, come back in, take it all down and then, and then cut it out with my jig. Okay, marking the centre spot. We cut now. Yep. That's the centre. Yeah, so, see the camera? What? Yeah. So I've marked the centre of the window and I've just copied that centre onto the back of the wood. Using my template, just checking it's square. Triple checking everything this time. Ah, don't blame you. Very tricky. Yeah, I don't know what distance that is to the centre, which is that. And that, and it's the same. Right, let's get this thing screwed in. <laughs> same as before, I've now got the template because I've drew my centre line. That template all works. Drill a pilot hole for the the router. Get your drill in. Yeah. <laughs> Straight. Don't drill through to the other side or you'll break the ply. Yeah, you're going to flip it back over and take the template off. Yeah, got that. Hang it back up. And hang it up. Excellent. I'm really pleased with it. And it worked. It's just a couple of millimetres yeah. out here. Trim that off. That's just when it came off and back up again. It's 
it's pretty much in the same place, but yeah. And that router blade is blunt now. Nah, cheap router blade. I'll go and buy a proper one. But yeah, I'll just sand that wee bit off there. And it's it's spot on perfect. Yeah. I'm really pleased really with that. Fun. Sometimes it, things just work out. They do. Again, it's down to measurements, getting it getting it right. But cutting it out is easy with the template. Ah, it's coming on to the end of the day and we've done yeah. very well. We have indeed. Got that panel up, Roma's gone round and sealed up the edges. Yes, yeah. And we've got that panel up. Yeah. Ah, wow. So instead of one a day, I'm getting two and a half. And Roma's help. Right, we're going to wrap up for the day. That's that's been good. I just got that bit to do. Uh, yeah, we're cracking on. We have been talking a lot about the cable tray. Uh, should do the cable tray sooner rather than later. Uh, let me. I'll need to focus on that in the next couple of days, which is easy enough. Cable tray is just cutting some wood to size. But the time consuming bit, as always with this stuff, is painting it and sealing it. So, yeah, lights have gone out, it's time to go home. And also today, the paint arrived for the exterior of the boat. Hello there, right, another day at the boat. Where else would I be? <laughs> Jobs today, just, I mean, it's just lining and lining and lining. So uh, I'm doing that bit there and then I'll do the remaining boards up to the bulkhead. And I've decided last night that, cause I was, uh, you know, you know what it's like. I'm pretty sure you know what it's like. You, you've got a gazillion things to do and you kind of run away and last night I was sitting going, oh my god, I've got this and there, cables, that, that, cable tray, da, 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 da. And I went, no, focus. Let me finish the lining because we can tack that up and it can come off again when we're doing the cable trays and I've realised I've missed a cable. Um, and that'll get that project, mini project finished. Then I'll do the bulkhead because next week looks like the weather's going to be perfect for prep. So it's not too hot outside. It's not raining. Uh, it's a wee bit overcast. So it looks like next week is a good time to get the boat washed and start and start uh, doing the touch-ups on the outside ready for painting. So that's my plan. I know what I can do in the winter. Focus on the things that we need to do in the summer in the good weather, and that is get the boat ready for winter. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on next. But anyway, back to back to today's challenges. Let's crack on with the lining. So that's, that's that side done. Uh, I've just started sealing up the edges on the corner one. It took me longer than I thought. I decided to move a socket in the end. I felt that um, it was just too close to the uh, edge of the cupboard. So I moved it a bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm on the other one now, the main uh, duck hatch. This time I decided to be a bit smarter and uh, put a straight edge. What I did was uh, measure 
from the edge of my edge of the saw uh, to the edge of the blade that gave me a distance and then I just set that distance and made a straight edge hopefully the cuts will be a bit neater because in the other one I made a bit of a uh, not much but just a wee bit of a divot only where I was stretching over this time round I thought I'll better be safer than sorry we're getting there it's quite slow without Roma's help but I'm not going to do the next porthole with my template I'm getting quite quick at this uh, getting this template measured up and fastened up ready Cheap router blades have broke. The guide wheel came off. Flip. It's me stuffed. You know why that is? It's because a minute ago I said I was getting quite good at doing that. <laughs> ah. okay, no. Karma. Oh dear. Right, well, there's nothing I can do now because everything else is that's just the last board before the bulkhead. So I need to go and get a router. But yeah, the bottom the router bit came. I just bought a set just to try them out. But they were rubbish. Oh, well, I need to spend some money and get a proper one. Right, nice new router bit. That cost me as much as a full set. That I did, but you can see it. Let's see if I can get it close in. So it it must have broke there, and you can see it's taken a little divot out of the the wood where the wheel came off, and it allowed it a bit more room. It's only a few mil, so it's not it's not a disaster, and it hasn't it hasn't. Uh, a little bit of wrecking of the template there but in general I think we're okay uh, and before any of you say in the comments buy cheap buy twice I know right proven <laughs> right let's get this lot sorted Wow, the difference a proper blade makes. That was like a knife through butter. <laughs> and we're done. That's about an hour later. That was hard work. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just tired. <laughs> that was really hard work. But that's it, that's, the, that's half the boat. Port and starboard lined. I'll just get that bit to do, but I need to clear up all this rubbish. Right, time for a celebratory cup of coffee. And then I'll uh, get those edges sealed up. If I don't do it now, I'll just forget to do it. Right, while that lot's drying, I'd run some more cable through conduit because I haven't done it for a little while and I was missing it. Right. Uh, no, I forgot to run the cable. I don't know why I did it. I forgot to run the cable for the LED strip lights uh, in the galley and below the gunnels. Um, it's not a very long run, but it goes across the stern. Uh, so I need to get that done before I close off the stern, really. I just remembered the other day, I went, ah, rats. Anyway, feeding cable through conduit. See you in an hour. Well, I'm sat down, having a brew. Because I've run out of iron brew. Bloody hell. Uh, I'm panicking. So, coffee instead. That took a wee while. That took a good few hours longer than I thought it was going to do. I knew where I was running the LED strips. I completely misjudged where I was going to put the LED controllers. I thought I was going to put them under the gunnels and then I thought, well, how can I get them in the roof? So, I've put them in the, in the electric cupboard, but that meant running uh, conduit and cable uh, just just took ages and I've run out of conduit 
but it's in now so that's good and because of that I didn't quite get uh, everything done this week that I wanted done I needed a clean sheet for next week and I haven't got that and I might have to We'll think over the weekend what I'm going to do. <clears throat> There's certain priorities that I need to be focusing on. Train! It's coming up to rush hour, so we'll get we'll get a train come along every few minutes soon. It's been a funny old week, isn't it? Yeah, the the heat. We lost a a good day and a half, probably two days, because of that. That heat just was too difficult to work in, so that slowed me down. Um. The router bit was just really annoying. <laughs> uh, and now that, that extra cable that I needed to put in the wiring for the LED controllers that I forgot about. Yeah, that's uh, just the way it is. So uh, I'm going to tidy up because it's late on a Friday and it's time to go home. And I've run out of iron brew, so it's really time to go home. Uh, yeah, so look, let's wrap this one up here. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for the comments last week. Um, yeah, some pretty helpful, actually. Uh, Simon, thank you for the, the tip on the windows. That was helpful. That kind of got me thinking a bit. Uh, so we'll call it here with a reminder of uh, click the subscribe button on YouTube. Rain to Russia. Uh, click the little bell icon and you'll get notified of when, when we produce another video, which is every week, mostly. Uh, subscription is free and it helps us out quite a lot. Uh, builds up the channel, which we're trying to do. So we'll see you next time.